Hello everybody and welcome to Super Saturdays. Now I've just tried recording Train Simulator 2016. Derp. Yeah, I've just tried recording Train Simulator and I think it failed. So I decided why not come and do Truck Sim instead? Because that's sort of good enough. Oh well. Right. So we are bring today I'm bringing you a U Euro Truck Simulator 2 video. There's also a good thing that, that I'm doing this. There's been some new features added to the game. That's very loud music. I don't know why it's so loud today. Let's see. Gameplay. I think the update may be officially out. Although I'm not sure. Let's see. Braking intensity. Air bra I should have done this before. Oh well. Wait. Is that truck settings? Yes. Trailer stability, automatic retarder, uh, there, there, there. Air brake, realistic fuel consumption. Regional, length of time and stuff. I don't know if it's on here. I might just, might be because I'm not on an experimental version. Hmm. Graphics, I think it's, I think it's totally just because I'm not on the right version. Unless it's automatic and they remove the update. Basically what they've done to this game, so they've given us the option to do advanced trailer coupling. What does advanced trailer coupling mean? Well, it means, whereas you can usually drive into a trailer wherever you are, sort of thing, that you, you can just pretty much hook up to a trailer anywhere near it. But now, you have to be particular about it. About where you park up to it. Now, what... What are we going to drive? A ventilation shaft, possibly? Hmm, Dover to Birmingham. Ice cream, Dover to Birmingham. Gravel. Hmm, apparently the gravel truck is, is evil. Hmm, Manchester to Cambridge. That's quite a nice run. That's quite a nice truck. Hmm. Hmm, I'm between these two. Cardiff to London, that doesn't give us as much money. We've already done London to Cardiff anyway, so... I'm thinking... What do you think? I'm thinking this one. No, I'm actually thinking this one, if I'm honest. But then again, Birmingham's more... Let's do this one, because Birmingham is more useful, in a way, than Cambridge. Cambridge seems a load of rubbish, really. But, no, I'm not saying the real place is a load of rubbish. They've got the top, one of the top universities in Britain, possibly the world. But just on here, it's not very useful. There's, you hardly get any um, any jobs to Cambridge. But quite a lot come from Birmingham and go to Birmingham, so... Whew, we shall see. Current job, ventilation shaft, Dover to Birmingham, £4,230 as a reward. Tuesday, 12.46. Here we are in our brand new Volvo. Ooh, it's got a luxury interior. We'd better be careful with this. Let's see, here's our ventilation shaft. Looks like a pencil. It's a very long pencil. Right, so where are we Dover? 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 Are we Dover? Right. Need you not? We don't need any lights because it's 12:47. Uh, the, the lag is real though. The lag is real at 12:47. 12:47 is when the lag comes out to play. Right, we need to go this way. Follow the GPS. Let's see. I suppose really, advanced trailer coupling doesn't actually have an effect because you spawn in on your trailer anyway, so. It doesn't matter too much. We can wait, I'm sure, until that feature is released. Right. Here we go. We can pull up behind this lorry. Although it would be easy if there was less lag. There we go. And pull away. Vroom, vroom. Uh, we could go the other way. We could go straight on. I know these roads, but... It is quicker to go this way. Then again, we haven't explored the upper road, but we've gone this way now, so a bit late. Right. 
As soon as we get out of Dover, the lag should clear a bit. Can always try reducing my graphics settings. I'm going to put the indicator on now. And start braking. Well, it's a bit hard to tell where I need to brake, but I think this will do. Perfect. We can just about see the glow of the lamp with this traffic light, although we can see the one across the road, so it doesn't necessarily matter. Out the cab. There we go, it runs better now. The game's running a lot better. You just drive along like this the whole way. Perfect. I think there's cars ahead, though, so we ought to be careful about that. Right, turn. See, this is actually easier to drive. I mean, it might not be quite as fun in some ways, but it's easier. So, we have more chance of getting to our destination. Okay, the game's very bright on my eyes. Let me just turn it down a bit. There we go. Up the hill, up the hill, up the hill, 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 up the hill, up the hill, up the hill, 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 up the hill, up the hill, round the corner. This is a very steep hill. Calm down, calm down. It's all right, it's all right, truck. Right, we're just speeding. Oh yes, that's a new thing that's been introduced since the last time we played. Uh, when you are speeding, your speed limit situated somewhere where I can't show you because I don't have a cursor that glows red so it does make you uh, it's glowing red again it does make you feel like you're being watched in a way which is kind of creepy I'm not gonna lie it does make you th make you think your next move but at the same time it's also easy enough to ignore Whoa, 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 calm down, calm down, it's fine, it's fine, whoa, 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 okay, these graphic settings are actually messing with it now. Oh, the sun shafts on, I wonder, that's, that's a nice, nice touch, but it's also a very hefty on the, the, uh, FPS touch, so. Let's see, Big Stone London, under the bridge. Travelling pretty fast, not gonna lie, considering we've got a massive metal pencil on the back of our truck. There we go. Better driving! I can't see what's ahead though. Well, I can look at the GPS, I suppose, but. Whoa, whoa. Is the render distance further? Let me try and. I'm gonna experiment. Okay. I'm going to experiment. Now, trust me on this. Let's see. Full screen. We want full screen. Sun shafts off. Depth of field. Don't know what that means. See. Shadow te textures, textures, reflection detail, vegetation, texture quality. We want that very high, pretty. Uh, low, medium, medium. Where's the render distance thing? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. Grass density, shadow quality, shadow texture, weather quality, weather quality. Let's put that on medium. Let's see what that does. It makes us get a white screen. I want to keep it, thank you. I did keep it, didn't it? Weather quality, yes it did. But I might make the sun not quite as bright possibly, although I'm guessing it means more the rain. We shall find out. Oh look, it seems to be running a bit better, to be honest. 
well, I say that as it lags, but we shall keep with this for now. We shall keep with this. This is okay. So, how was your day? Have you driven anywhere recently? Where was the last place I went? Uh, hmm. To... To somewhere. I went to somewhere. That's where I went. We're driving in our truck. And we don't have very much luck. Hopefully we're going to have some luck. Hopefully we'll have enough luck that we can get there. Because that would be the last thing we want. Not being able to get there and not getting any money whatsoever. See if we can have a perfect journey. It is possible. I've done it before. Not necessarily with this load on this journey. But I've done it before. I can do it again. This is an easy trailer to drive. Oh, you don't want to start modding the tra modding the trailers. Good grief. I mean, the uh, I think one of the best and worst trailer mods, probably the Train Transport by Jazzy Cat. I mean, the models are pretty good considering. Considering it's not supposed to be like anything to do with trains, it, it's pretty good. It's it had some new new loads in. But they are a little bit difficult to transport. You don't want to try going up a slip road with one of them things. That is horrible. And considering most of this game is made out of motorways, you're going to have to go up slip roads. So, good luck with that. Um, If you do a far enough journey, you usually don't get any money for it. Because you get late. And, yeah, they're also heavy as well. So, bear that in mind. Have a really, really powerful truck. Here's the M20... Sorry? M25. Well, I say here. It's not here yet. I think I've got the hiccups. I think I might have the hiccups. That's bad when you're recording. You do not want to get the hiccups when you're recording. We've obviously gone this way before. To be fair, we probably did a journey from London to Dover or something. gonna break a bit and we've got to go around here. Here we go, I'm gonna keep it on, I'm gonna keep the indicator on, I'm gonna keep the acceleration up a little bit. Okay, break a bit. There we go. Perfect control. Perfect control. And change the indicator. Nothing's coming. Out. There we go. Success, and that is how you try, how you work out one of them silly junction things. We have twelve thousand. Twelve thousand pounds. I've got no idea what that is in euros. I'm afraid. Or dollars, or cents, or yin yangs, or what? What? What's the um Japanese currency? I think it begins with. I think it's that Y symbol on the on the keyboard. Like if you use some sort of iPhone or something, you probably know what I mean. This I can't remember what it means. It's, I think it begins with Y, the currency, but I'm not hundred percent sure, and I don't want to offend a nation, so I'm not going to even attempt it. I don't think. Ah. I think this game would be amazing with VR. You need a steering wheel as well, but steering wheel and VR would be an amazing combination. If you put the VR over you, you can actually look either way when you come to a junction, and then you can use your steering wheel accordingly, and then you feel like you're actually driving a proper lorry more than this. I mean, I'm not planning to get VR. Well, I'd like to get VR, but I'm not probably not going to get VR anytime soon. But it would be amazing to be honest. I don't even have a steering wheel. I'm driving with my keyboard, as you can probably tell. And we go down here. We go down here. We go down here. We go down here. We might as well stay in this lane because well, Cambridge has come on the signs now. That's where we would have been going. But we would have been coming down the country. Well, actually, no. Because the way it, uh, the way it works, right? If you're in Britain... 
you want to go up the country, you always come towards London, no matter which way you go. Which is why you always hear, I'm going to go up to London, despite the fact they're in, I don't know, uh, Edinburgh or somewhere, somewhere like that. They always say, I'm going to go up to London, because the up to up is always towards London. So if you're in the south, go up the country. If you're in the north, you actually come down the country to go up. It's a bit confusing, but... So, if you want to then go down the country, you now have to go down in the south and up in the north. I think it was a... I think it was all to do with the way the railways worked. When they arrived, um, I think they decided just to make everybody know where you were going, it was just sort of easier to say, right, you go up to London, down to Edinburgh. It does sound weird, but it, it it's a fact. It is a true fact. Do we like true facts? Why is that road half explored exactly? I'm not sure, to be honest. Eee, road works. Road works. There we go. We didn't get a speeding ticket. We are well within the speed limit. This is. We are not within the speed limit at all now. Right. We have a Land Rover next to us. And we have a Mini in front, and what's that? Is that a Golf? I think it might be a Golf. Somebody's playing Golf today. See, I know my cars. There's a Ford Transit over there. They don't even... They don't, they, they don't have, um... Have the names or anything on them due to copyright reasons, but... They're pretty obvious what they are, to be fair. That... Well, I say they're obvious, not knowing what that is. I'm not 100% sure what that is, exactly. I think we saw a Peugeot. Uh, I don't think I can even tell you who made that one in front, though. Hmm. But yeah, they don't bother going for licensing on the cars because that's just silly. It's not a car sim, it's a truck sim. I couldn't tell you the buses, I don't think. The coaches. Buses and coaches are different. Well, the, 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 it's arguable. They're sort of the same thing. A bus is... In my eyes, it's more of a local thing, sort of. A coach, it's one of them big, long ones that travels down the motorways and takes people on tours and stuff. You know, like, that's kind of stuff you get for a school trip. Although, in America, they might still use school buses, but... The big yellow ones. Whoa, 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 there we go. He kept that under control, despite the lag. Now, what cars have we got? I, I recognise that car in front. I can't think what it is at the moment. It's a Ford Focus, isn't it? I believe it may be a Ford Focus. That's a Ford Transit. Let's see what's coming the other way. There's... Ooh, I think I saw a Jeep. I think it was a Jeep. I'm not sure, though. Yeah, I think it was a Jeep. Uh, Land Rovers. We've got... Another Land Rover. I think it might have been some Range Rover, possibly. We have a Scania lorry. That was a da Dacia Qashqai, I think, that went past. That one... Ooh. It's a bit hard to tell, really. It's a bit hard to tell when you're going like, past them and you... Ooh, you literally just see them as you go past the window sort of thing. As as they go past the bit that I can't actually show you. Between the uh, post, the supporting post, and the wing mirror. That's where I'm watching. Mainly. I mean, we should really be concentrating on the driving. And somehow I'm actually manning to drive. Man, manning. I'm manning to drive. Sure. Now, I'm managing to drive fine somehow, but... Okay, we might need to do an overtaking movement here, although I have a feeling we're going to lose our speed on the hill and then have to go back in. 49, come on. Can we overtake this dude? Can we overtake the man in van? There's a mini. There's another mini. Come on. We can do this. Oh, 50 limits here. Hello, 50 limit. Hello. Right. There we go. We are safely within the 50 limit for a... For now. I'm not going to put any throttle on. Oh, I'd better put some throttle on now, actually. Uh, 
Right, there's a speed camera. Keep below the speed. Right. That was that was a bad time to start speeding, wasn't it? 51 miles an hour when you go past the speed camera. Although usually they give you about 52 miles an hour. Just to be safe. Hello! Oh, I, that was the parking brake. I thought that was the horn. I thought that was the horn. I'm an idiot. Uh, that's the wipers! That's the wrong button. Wanted the indicator. What are you driving? You're driving a car. That's what you're driving. Uh, can't tell. I'm not sure at the moment. Oh, right. Right, 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 right. I say right a lot. Right, let's do this. Let's do this. Wow. Driving up the hill. We are driving up the hill. We are going to Birmingham. I need to say Cambridge. We need to pull out. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Do this to thank him. This can be... Wait. This can be thanks. Or it can be off you go. Although technically, technically, flashing them actually means I'm coming through. If you read the uh, law books and stuff, apparently it actually means I'm coming through. Get out my way. So... I don't know why, that's got to be a bit confusing really, think about it, if you're a new driver and you're following every single law in the in the book, uh, in the highway code, you're following every single law as it's written, some, and then you flash somebody and you mean I'm getting out, I'm coming out into your path, and the other dude thinks you're letting him out. That's not going to go well. They really need to change the highway code for that, don't they? Because that I, I can see that happening one day. It probably already has happened now numerous times, to be fair. I mean, nowadays, people mainly just... Uh, I, I consider it as off you go, because otherwise it's, it's just confusing. It's like everybody starts flashing. It's like, and then you just stop doing your horn. This truck has a silly horn. Everybody would just get in the way, you know, cause a big traffic jam. Why? Why not use it for what people actually use it for? Isn't that more sensible? Here you go, you can go out. I'm coming through. I'm coming... Oh, and actually, I'm coming... Through. Well, actually, I'm going to come through. Actually, I'm going to come through. Everybody comes through at once. I'm actually getting passionate about this. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so passionate about this. Yeah, I'm still driving fine. I'm going to curse myself saying I'm driving fine at this rate, aren't I? Eh, 50 minute, 50 limit, there we go. Ah, oh, you see that? I am the number one driver. I am, I am a boss at this today. I mean, yes, sometimes I do totally flop. I mess up and nothing happens. Thank you, dude. We're, we're speeding again, we're speeding again. It's the camera. There we go, through the camera successfully. Now we've got no camera. Well, we shouldn't have any cameras. I'd be worried if we did have a camera, but... The little grey boxes at the side of the road. There's the speed cameras, if you're wondering. Yes, I know I'm speeding, but who's going to stop me? Who's going to stop me? You, Millie? Are you going to stop me? Didn't think so. I'm in perfect control. I can do this all day. We could drive home for Christmas. That did not sing. That I did not sing. I am... Actually, it's probably a good thing I didn't sing, to be fair. Copyright and all. Right, we haven't actually been down this bit of road yet, so this is pretty good. Pretty good indeed. In real life, I've never been along the M6. That's a fun fact for you there. I've never been along the M6. I've been past the M6 on the M1, but I haven't been on the M6. I've been to Sheffield. Sheffield is that the is that the place? Yes, that is the. Uh, we're gonna have problems here. We're gonna have problems, dude. Can you? Thank you. There we go. My voice is going. <clears throat> My voice is dying on me. Fun. Right down the slip road. Ooh, watch that carefully. There we go. 
like an absolute boss. Right around the corner and whoop. Actually, does anybody say that anymore? People always used to wipe us. People always used to say like a boss and epic as well. Everybody said epic and now nobody says it. It's a, it's a strange world we live in. Of trends and stuff. Very strange world indeed. Third in a minute. Usually I don't bother about speed limits, but you are judging me. You are judging me this episode. There is no evidence that I never follow speed limits in this game. Apart from this. But I'm following the speed limits just fine. In fact, I'm actually under the speed limit. See? I'm that, I'm that nice. I'm that good. I can actually be under the speed limit. I can be over the speed limit. I'm a brilliant driver. <laughs> I got this skill. See, I didn't even click. See, we've, we've discovered Birmingham. This is amazing. There's a, there's a woodcut. Hey, woodcutting place down there. There we go. We are driving into Birmingham. Oh my goodness. Whoop. Oh my goodness. Oh my goody good. Oh my goody good. What kind of a, what kind of English is that? Oh, laggy. Laggy, goody, good. Baddie, bad. Laggy would be baddie, bad, I suppose, really. There we go. 30 miles, 29 miles, 30 miles per, 31 miles per. I'd say it's changing too fast for me to say it. Get to per, and then it changes. Right, we need to change lanes. Sorry, dude. I might have to sort of... I think I think we have enough clearance. Thank you, that's why I did it. I wouldn't have done it otherwise. I don't... Ooh, I can't see where the Mini is. I can't see where the Mini is. There we go. But that wasn't my fault. That was a lag's fault. I had to get out of the cab and look. I swear, right? Oh, yes! Fun fact! If you pull back, if you press the uh, brake arrow without taking your finger off, you actually get the brake lights to stay on. Yay! Right, indicator on... There you go, the indicator is on. I was just proving to you, in case you didn't believe me, because I know you guys don't believe me, do you? You never believe me. You never trust me. You never trust me. <laughs> There's a roundabout here, isn't there? Yeah, roundabout. There's a roundabout 20 of them. There's two of them, at least. Because There's one down the road we're going, right? We can go now. Follow this dude out, right? If you didn't know, it's the right of way of the person coming round the roundabout and not yours. Therefore, they get first refusal and you have got to wait because you've got to wait. Second roundabout. Right. Okay, what's happening here? You? 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 What are you doing? You're going down there, right? I'm going to jump out, but be careful of this. What's... Whoa, 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 what are these dudes doing? Calm down! Calm down, please. Please. Oh, I hate it on the roundabouts when they don't think you're doing stuff and then they kind of get in your way and they crash into the side of you and you lose money for it. That's the most annoying thing. When the, when the AI does something stupid and then you lose your money for it. There's people... Let's not drive on the path. Yeah, that, that kind of annoys me in this game. I mean, it's also sensible, but... They only ever put people where it's impossible to drive. I mean, yes, fair enough. You don't want people pretending to run people over, but... Still. It would be not... It, the people don't just walk behind barriers, do they, in real life? You probably walk to school in every way, shape, or form you can. Anywhere will do. Even the middle of the road, people walk in. Because they're stupid. And swing round. I'm guessing you probably couldn't do that in real lorry. Because of the wires, right. We need to be careful with this now. Why are the wipers on? Let's go the button. I think we need to go this way. Yes, see, I'm a master. I know what I'm doing. There's a big tank there. 
not a tank of boom blowing up your houses sort of tank. Ooh. Oh, did you know there's a British law which means you can't fire a cannon within, was it 300 metres of somebody's house? That's just... Isn't that kind of common sense? I mean, I'm guessing it's for the military more than anybody. Because the military have more cannons than anybody. But that's, that's just a weird law, to be honest. Why would you publish it in the Book of Laws? Right. We're not exactly central, but to be honest, that will do. That will do. Considering, right? Considering I did that in third person, that wasn't bad parking. I think. Did I make a mistake? I might have made a mistake, I'm not sure. <clears throat> Let's go for another type of dangerous chemical. And there we go! There we go. We need to buy ourselves a truck. What's the bank want? I'm just wondering. 80,000. Hmm. Could we do that? I don't know. Possibly. We shall have to think about that for the next episode. Because I'm afraid it's time to go. Thank you so much for watching this episode where I actually managed to record something on my own with second Abelia Lily. Yay! No, I'm joking. I, uh, I might have to do a poll. I might have to do a poll in the top. Do you think that Lobelia Lily, this is if I remember and can actually do it. So don't expect it to be there. If it's not there, don't blame me. But if it is there, there'll be a poll in the top. If you're on a tablet, it should be a little eye in the corner. I don't know how it is on a desktop, but... But yeah, poll. Do you think videos are better with the Belia Lily or not? Silence. So yes, um, so what I'd like to say now is thank you very much for watching everybody and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!